Hi everybody, thanks for joining us. Andy Lightbody, Rocky Mountain Television, and this edition of Wheels of Field. Well, behind me is probably what many would have to say is the king of the beasts. Actually, it's also called the Nissan Armada. It's a giant SUV for 2010. Now, go back about to 2004, and you'll remember that Nissan, when they first introduced this, it was the Pathfinder Armada. Well, after a year or two, they decided that the brand name itself was strong enough to stand on its own, so they dropped the Pathfinder, and it's now just known as the Armada. Well, Armada conjures up fleets of ships and things like that. Well, this particular vehicle is big enough. You can take a fleet of people with you and a lot of gear. It was redesigned in 2008, nine timeframe, so not much has changed really for 2010. It's pretty much a carryover. It's got a, like, a lot of likable qualities. And obviously to begin with, first off you can see behind me the size. Well, to power this kind of a sized vehicle, you need some guts to it. Nissan has not shortchanged anybody with this particular vehicle. It has a giant, I mean giant, big V8 engine. It's 5.6 liters, it's 339 cubic inch engine, puts out 317 horsepower. So this is not a girly little manly type thing. The unfortunate part is, of course, well, you got a lot of pulling power, you got a lot of towing power, you got some pretty good zip, get up and go. Obviously, there's a trade-off. Well, what's that trade-off? Mileage. This particular vehicle is only rated to 12 miles per gallon in the city, 18 on the highway. But for those of us that are towing a great big giant trailer, big boat, snowmobiles, out having fun, enjoying, recreating, have a big family, lots of friends, hey, guess what? You got to have it. The engine itself is pretty quiet. It's got a lot of pickup and good zip to it. It's not going to be a barn burner. You're not going to put it out on the racetrack, but you're going to know that you got a good solid engine and good solid quality. You can hear it. Styling up front is pretty good. Back when it was redesigned a couple of years ago, they went to a modular type headlight system, which is pretty good and stylish. You got some big tow hooks down here, just in case your buddies get in trouble and you got to go pull them out. Let's walk around and take a look at the rest of some of the other exterior features. Standard is 18 inch alloy wheels. This one has the 20 inch wheels with a good set of Michelin tires. So it's got some good grip and grab on the four wheel drive model especially as you can see, hey, it's snowy up here in the mountains. Moving back along the side here, this is a high vehicle, so you're gonna need a little extra oomph. Well, as part of the standard package, and really with the titanium, there's not a lot left in terms of the options that you've gotta opt for. It comes with a running board system. That running board system is definitely gonna be needed when you need to get up into the vehicle. It's a step up feature, and I like it. Can you imagine if it didn't have the running boards? It wouldn't be easy to get inside. Let's talk about a little bit on the inside now. It's big, bigger, and biggest. I mean, the big power seats, most of the car companies go with a six-way power seat system. Nissan decided they were going to do one better with the Armada. It's got an eight-way power driver's seat, which gives you a lot of leeway in terms of being able to adjust it to yourself, your body style, and your driving style. Even down here on the floorboards where you've got your brake pedal and your accelerator, they are adjustable. You can actually pull them up a little bit closer or send them back down if you're a little more long-legged. Everything inside is laid out extremely well. You want cubby holes to put stuff everywhere you look. Down below, along the sides, even up on top is places to put stuff. Comes with a, uh, an automatic transmission which has got good pulling power. Like I said, everything is laid out very well. It's even got the backup camera. And for a vehicle this size, you're talking a vehicle that's got a 123 inch wheelbase. That's big. It's got a, almost a 79 inch wide track. That's big. It's got an overall length of 207 inches. That's biggest. All right, as we move back along the side here, passenger doors. Nissan incorporated a lot of very good features. You know, some of the manufacturers will make these big SUVs, but they're not practical. They're not user friendly. This particular one is. As you can see behind me here, I've got seating for three, but I also have another seat in the back that is not what I call a junk seat. It actually is a very usable seat. Now, let me show you what, it, what they've done. 
you open the door, you're going to put your passengers way in the back. All you do is you flip this up and forward, you do this, and bingo. You've got good ingress and egress out of that back seat, which again has got very good leg and headroom. So it's a practical seat. If you've got to put two or three people way in the back and take a, a long journey to go to your hunting or your fishing or your outdoor adventure, not a problem. The other thing I like that Nissan did was this particular seating system and way to get in and out has got a twin on the other side. Some of the manufacturers, because of they use what they call a 60-40 split on the seats, means that only one side, so you can only load from the passenger side or only load from the driver's side. Well, this one, you can load from both sides. So you can put everybody in the back, get them then up in here in front. And again, the seats are adjustable, a lot of good controls. They've got their own stereo system that they can plug into to listen to from an iPod. They've also got lots, again, more cubby space. I'm liking it. <coughs> Let's move to the back. On this particular vehicle, obviously you've got a full roof rack. So if you're carrying big fishing rods or you're carrying gun cases or you need extra luggage space, skis, what have you, you're in good shape. Here's where the little camera is on the very back end. So it gives you a good idea of what you're getting into. Trust me, you'll use it. Cavernous, cavernous space in the back. But you're looking at it and you're saying, well, wait a minute, I don't have a lot of storage space back here. Well, you do and you don't. I mean, if you're going to be carrying eight passengers, plan on using stuff for that roof rack up on top. If it's just a couple of friends and you've got the kids and whatever, and you're going someplace, here's another unique feature. These seats go down. And now look at the storage space you've got. You're getting up into the class where you can actually move furniture. You can take a lot of tackle boxes and a lot of gear. But if you don't need them that way, hey, set them back up. But if you do, you can do it this way and you can flip down all of the second passenger seats too. So if it's just you and a buddy and we're off going on a hunting trip or a fishing trip, I got room for lots and lots of gear. The Armada last feature that I really like, it's designed to be a towing vehicle. This is the Titanium Armada series, which means that there's really not many options left. Everything comes pretty much standard, including on the four wheel drive model, a 9,000 pound towing capacity which makes it one of the largest in its class. So if you've got the big boat, you've got the big trailer, you need to tow stuff with you to go enjoy your outdoor experience, Nissan's already thought ahead and built it in for you. Again, it's the Armada for 2010. It goes out the door of the titanium model right at about $47,000. So it's not cheap, but hey, if we're into that particular mode of, of outdoor recreation where I want to take my boat and enjoy the great outdoors. I want to take my travel trailer and be able to go and know that I'm going to get there with plenty of power, plenty of good safety features. I like the Armada 2010. Thanks for joining us everybody. I'm Andy Lightbody.